And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 5th of July, 2019. It was on this date, 1687, Isaac Newton published one of the most important books in the history of science, his Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, which contained Newton's three laws of motion, including objects in motion tend to remain in motion, and for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. He also unified celestial and terrestrial mechanics under one umbrella, gravity, which caused planets to orbit the sun, moons to orbit the planets, and earthly objects like apples, for example, to fall to the ground when they are dropped. It was on this date, 1937, Spam was unveiled by Hormel Foods, pre-cooked pork and ham in a can, little potato starch, salt, sugar, sodium nitrate to keep it pink. We're not sure what the name Spam actually stands for. Some people think it's a combination of spiced meat and ham. In Britain, they called it specially processed American meat. Other people say it means something posing as meat or a special product of Austin, Minnesota. Whatever it stands for, SPAM is supposed to be written in all capital letters. And it was on this date in 1950, the Battle of Osan took place, the first battle between American and North Korean troops in the Korean War, which had begun on the 25th of June. The North Korean People's Army crossing into South Korea. They captured Seoul. A few days later, American troops met the North Koreans in the city of Osan, just south of Seoul. The North Koreans came in with tanks. The Americans were not adequately armed. The tanks rolled right through them. The Americans lost the battle and retreated. It's the birthday of the harpsichordist Wanda Landowska, born in Warsaw, 1879, known as the rediscoverer of the harpsichord. She revived interest in the instrument during the first half of the 20th century. And it's the birthday of the writer and artist Jean Cocteau, born in Maison Lafitte, a resort town outside Paris, in 1889, whose advice to artists was, listen carefully to criticisms made of your work, note just what it is about your work that critics don't like, then cultivate it. That's the only part of your work that's individual and worth keeping. Here's a poem for today by Richard Jones entitled Eggplant. I've never liked the taste, which I think is a shame because some days when my wife goes to work and I walk to the grocery store, I stand in the produce aisle admiring those gorgeous purple fruits, wine-colored, sensuously curved, and can't help but reach out and pick one up just to hold it. So silky, smooth, so luscious looking, I almost fall in love. But then remember who I am, a man not fond of eggplant. Nonetheless, I linger and look, and there in the bin, under the misters and lights, I find it, the perfect eggplant, the glossy flesh, unblemished, Meat firm under the fingers, the stem and cap, bright green, the fruit heavy in the hand. I place the eggplant in my cart, taking special care, knowing an eggplant is delicate and wounds easily. I carry the grocery bag home through a light rain and arrange the eggplant on a white tablecloth, the opulent purple orb, lustrous in the window light, and quietly beautiful, as if lying on satin sheets. Then I sit in the wing chair. The house grows dark as the rain falls harder, and I wait for my wife to come home from work, shake off her raincoat, turn on the lamp, And behold, the eggplant. A 
poem entitled Eggplant by Richard Jones from Stranger on Earth, published by Copper Canyon Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.